Hello there guys and welcome to Flight Ryanair 3702 Fort Ventura to East Midlands. Um, we're going to be taking this um, Ryanair Boeing 737 uh, from here in Fort Ventura where we uh, stopped last time um, up to East Midlands, that's the airport. Uh, I'm using this very nice livery actually, it's not the uh, standard Ryanair one. My favourite part of it is it has this this sort of like oil staining I think uh, basically there's oil in there so make sure these flaps move smoothly and that smears out as the air goes past it um, and you, you get that on like pretty much e even quite new um, aircraft you get that on um, so yeah um, I'll leave a link to it um, it was off the AvSim forum by uh, this guy there's this guy who's famous for making really good liveries and I think he made it. Um, it's very nice. There's, there's loads of dirt in places. It very convincing. It's a lot nicer than the standard um, Ryanair one. Uh, unfortunately, it does say um, uh, commune, commune. What's that say? Communitat Valencia. I I don't know what that means. Um, but yeah. That <laughs> they, they Ryanair do actually have a few um, 737s with um, Fort Ventura on them, like just for flying to Fort Ventura. Um, unfortunately, there's not a livery um, like that. There's not one you can download um, with that. So we're gonna have to go with this one. If anyone wants to make one and tell me about it, then uh, please do. <laughs> I'll give you a shout out and stuff. Um, so yeah, we've got the G GPU connected, um, and yeah, it's about a flight time of four and, four and a half hours, I think, yeah. Um, I've got a company route selected, um, so yeah, let's get into the cockpit. Uh, oh, by the way, don't ask me why um, why the tower's clipping over there, I'm, I'm not sure what that's about. Um, but yeah, so we're in the uh, PMTG long state. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of checks before... Um, before we depart. Uh, so, yep, controls, uh, a few pumps all to off, yep, yep. Um, it's the, I'm gonna stick the anti collision on, um, yeah, the battery's on and everything like that. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a few checks, um, I'm just gonna check that, yep, both lights at night, at night, <laughs> no, um, come on, lad, I think. Yep, they work, um, Yep, they work. Um, just general testing of everything. Make sure all the lights are functional. Um, yep. Yep, they're all good. Um, uh, I've I've turned all the screens down because with HDR it. Um, um, sorry about this. Glitch will ease it up. Uh, yeah, with HDR it can sometimes. Um, make it make the screens too bright. Well, it always makes the screens too bright. Um, I'm hide menu bar that might, that make it look better, and it might stop that glitch. Um, right, so um, now we're in. Um, I'm gonna go up here. Um, I'm gonna arm the emergency lights. Um, yep, yeah, battery's all on. Um, we can align the uh, navigation. Uh, yeah, it's where I want it at the moment. Um, so I think it's set to instantly. Um, yeah, instantly do it. So we can go FMC. Actually, before I do that, I want to um, load the fuel while well, load payload. Uh, we're going to set full. Um, actually, I might um, set this to. 6,000 and this to 8,000. Okay, there we go. Um, oh, and fuel. Uh, so, fuel pounds I set it to kilograms, but okay. I, I did actually set it to kilograms. Um, I'm just gonna have to um, switch it to kilograms in the thing that tells me the fuel amount. 
Yeah, I, I went into the uh, PMDG operations center thing and switched it on this livery. I don't know what that's about. But okay. Uh, okay, so uh, fuel on board two eight four three five two eight four three five. Let's stick that in there. Um, yes, I'll enter the IRS position. Uh, pausing it. We are at Golf Victor Foxtrot. Um, oh no, Golf Charlie. <laughs> Golf Charlie Fox Truck. Stick that in. We are at stand 15. Yay. Um, get the left GPS. Stick it in there. Um, e Golf November X ray. Uh, company route. Can we select our mechanical? Uh, that's the company route. Execute that. Uh, we are need to need interpret share waste then. Nope, we are Ryanair. Uh, I want I, I wanted to fly the um, 737 back. Uh, that's why I'm well back to England. Uh, that's why I'm doing Ryanair by the way. And I've not flown the NGX in a while, so yeah. Uh, right. Three seven zero two. Three seven zero two. Uh, we want zero zero one. Uh, right, yeah, right. Okay. Um, we can uh, yep, zero one right, and yeah, we're not we're not using a SID. Uh, we can just go straight out. Uh, so we can activate that. Execute. Yep, that's good. Um, initial reference, we can oh, tap that to get the zero fuel weight in. Reserves, actually, talking about reserves, isn't it? Um, okay, so I think, yeah, just 6.5. 6.5. Uh, cost index, I believe around I use 30, I might be wrong on that. But, mm. uh, Cruise altitude is 370. I can execute that. Transition is 5000. Um, yep. M1 limit. M1 limit. Uh, we're going to limit to 22k. Um, and climb 1. Take off, we're going to use flaps 5. Center of gravity, we can get that. Um, and we'll generate the V speeds. Set our, um, set our trim. Uh, so 5.53. So if I um, go this way, that's good. I'm just pressing a button on my joystick. You know. um, 27. I mean, you can look at that, it's not pre that precise. I mean, the trim doesn't have to be dead on. Um, oh, can I get it? Five three, bang on. It doesn't have to be, but uh, the closer the better. Um, right, one five three can go in our speed. Straight past it. One five three, we can put that flight director on, and then that one. Um, we'll. Uh, what's the wrong way heading? It is. Just got charts here, so. I'll just looking to see what the runway heading is, um, and it is zero zero seven. Uh, zero zero seven. That can go in there. Um, do you what's our? Um, okay, so I set up to one nine zero. What, what flight level one nine? Uh, here we go. Um, anything else? As I said, it's a while since I've flown the NGX. Um, probably gonna get stuff wrong. I'll set the parking brake. I uh, can get the APU running. Uh, we'll um, what else? 
Okay, you can sit, set this up to uh, 35,000 uh, landing altitude. Okay, field elevation is 306 feet. Um, so 300, or can we do? No. Uh, so yeah, just 300. Uh, we'll stick in there. Wheel, put chime on, and seatbelt signs on. Uh, we'll also transfer the power to the APU generator. Um, we'll get rid of the ground connections. We'll close the door. And we'll retract the S there. And watch that. Oh, she said Rhino on there, because they do. They, I mean, that's a bit of a. That's off. I don't know. <laughs> be a bit too detailed but still uh, right so okay we are just quickly walk around check nothing's broke or broken and you have to admit the I think well okay I think the um, 737 is a lot no it looks a lot nicer than the A320 um, I mean, the A320 is better if I want just like a simple flight, but I want to fly something nice, then I think sometimes the NGX is better, and the cargo doors aren't shut. Um, okay, we'll close these. Um, we can, is there anything else to do? Uh, we can set the runway heading in, of course. Um, I'm gonna put these on VOR. Most of the bars, um, and I'm just gonna press B to get the Q and H. Uh, what's this saying? Um, right, I'm not missing anything. Uh, your damper can come on. Um, Okay, um, I just like to check around to make sure I've not missed anything. Um, I'm going to hide the yolk. Um, uh, right, okay. So all the doors are shut. We can depart now. Push back, so we want... Let me check the... Um, so basically we want to push back onto here. And then taxi all the way down there. Onto that taxiway. Then across onto the runway, runway um, 01 left, uh, well, it'll be 0, yeah, it'll be 0, yeah, no, it'll be 1, 9, right, okay, so, yeah, confused, uh, then turn on to 2, 1, right, and take off, um, so, what pushback distance do I want, and so that's me, just, um, 40, um, okay, um, turn nose on the left, and I want it 90. Um, right, straight length is. Four. I'm gonna set this to 35. It's hard to guess something. But I need to get GSX working. And, uh, ground, okay. Right, Stick all the fuel pumps on. Have we got fuel in the center. Uh, yes, we have. Uh, oh, they were on already. <laughs> Um, yeah, packs are off. Okay, parking brake is off, clear to push. You gonna stop moving? Brakes off, <laughs> Okay, so, um, we can start engine two third. This. First, there you go. If anybody knows a solution for that problem, please tell me. It's really annoying. And then you'll have to get rid of that again. 18, 19, 21. Just looking for 25 on the N2. 25, fuel in. And set flaps to 5. Uh, that's. Yeah, 3 seconds. Uh, set brakes to RTO. Uh, flight controls. There we go. Um, round. Just 
straight into this to get up to 25, then I zip the fuel in. Twenty-five fuel in and go in. Sixteen minutes. I was just checking the recording time, uh, and I was doing like an intro and stuff. So, fifteen minutes from uh, start from a uh, long state to push back is pretty long. Good. And if I remember rightly, you leave the, um, well, I'm not sure what I was about, uh, but if I remember rightly, you, le you leave the AP1, um, so you can switch power to engines, because you don't do that in the Airbus, but you didn't know. Tell the camera crew we're about to depart, no, we're about to right, start taxing. I guess we're just going to taxi down there. Alright guys, thanks, you're cleared to disconnect. We will uh, be watching for the pin and the release from guidance on the right side of the airplane. And uh, we'll see you guys next time through. Roger that, have a good time. Okay. Have they got anything more to do? Uh, yep, I think they've done. Um, so we can just check all of this. Uh, yep, that's all good. Um, okay, we can um, taxi out of the runway. Bit over the taxiway there, should have really set it to 30. Now, when I last departed out of um, World Adventure, I imagine—I uh, imag no, I remember—they um, went down this taxiway here at like Mac Two. I suppose it's right there, so they try and um, save time. That's probably why, but yeah. Just follow the taxiway all the way down. Turn onto the runway and tell them to the actual run. <laughs> now it's quite windy in Fort Adventure. Um, that's I think it's because of the um, Atlantic, because um, it's like right on the edge of the Atlantic. Um, but here, like the resort over there, Glasgow, if you see, we flew over on the landing. Um, that is actually quite, it's, it's, well it's still windy but it's not as windy um, because directly that way, about 50 miles away is um, Africa um, more specifically Morocco um, and then you've got these mountains here so you're sort of shielded, the mountains shield you from the Atlantic wind um, so it's not as windy here as um, other parts of the island Probably why they bought the airport here. I keep trying to centre my view um, while I'm still. Okay. At least check this runway. Make sure there's nothing on approach, even though I haven't got any traffic on. Oh, I didn't even put the taxi lights on, we don't need them. You don't, you, I mean, I, I think taxi lights are only to really see where you're going. And you don't really need to see where you're going. Well, you do, but I mean, you don't need lights to see where you're going in the daytime. So. Okay. okay, we'll just taxi all the way to the end here. Just turn onto the runway. Runway zero, one right. Just 
just the very last thing. Now I uh, mentioned in the um, last video that we did some plane spotting here. Um, now there's well, there should be a fence here, but it was just the other side of that, and we were just like parked up over there. You could just see the aircraft taxiing on, and then holding here E10. Okay, set the parking brake. Um, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. I think it'll be right. Um, so make sure to get the Genza on. Uh, P tots can come on. I didn't. Even put, I should have put the packs on, but whoops. <laughs> Hopefully that's the hiccup of today's flight. Um, not really an issue. Uh, we can arm El Nav and Vina. I can't arm, can't arm Vina yet, but um, okay, we can. Let's go. Try and taxi onto the runway like this. Oh, that wind bounce is great. If I keep this line at the same point over the engine, I should fall. Oh no. Looks at the wing view and messes up a lineup and does that. Um, right, okay. Let's pull up to 40. And Toga. I really need to get my uh, plug my rudder pedals in. Them up. So I'm using this that weird little thing on the back of my joystick at the moment. Gear up. Ooh. Pitching a bit too far up. Uh, can arm. Um, enough. Just trimming down a bit there. Not too off. It can go to off. Maybe you can come out. Okay, we can stick it on the autopilot. Brakes to off. Um, flaps can come to one now. Oh, what a view! There's the fun now, right there. That's the capital of Wadventura there. There's not films here. It, that, it's actually Orbex that's doing this. Um, yeah. It, Orbex is doing this. And it actually, this scene actually looks better without Orbex, but I can really do it about that. But it needs to Orbex. I don't know what I'm going to do that for the video. Make it look a bit better. So you've got these m massive sort of 
sand beaches. Like this is well, that's a road. This is well, it's sort of like a beach, I suppose. Massive thing here. Okay, it's so all sand that's blown over from this harbour, which you can't see. But it's over there somewhere. Okay, uh, five thousand transition altitude. Uh, I can just get the little landing. All of them. Where's the. Right. I want. There we go. Um, am I forgetting anything? Uh, let's scroll this all the way out. Um, oop, flaps can come on the way up. Oh, I should have brought them to one. Okay. Yeah, I, was, I, I keep thinking, for some reason, um, I keep thinking 5 is um, actually two sort of settings of flaps it goes. I keep thinking it goes 1, 5, and then 10, 15. But it goes 1, 2, 5. Not 1 to 5. 1, 2, 5. <laughs> oh. um, tell the cabin crew they can get up. I'm about to go into a cloud here. Yeah, so that's all sand that's blown over from the Sahara. It look, it's really nice there in real life. No. Oh. Wow. Yep, gear is off. Um, if he was off. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Um, no, there's Lanzarote. Nah, it's just standard. What? Okay, Orbex. I did mention that in the last video. That's a little island. I can't remember the name of it, but it's um, it's just like a small island that that doesn't really have anything on it, to be honest. I think you can go over and over and see it, and there's like bushes and stuff on it, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I think I'll uh, speak to you again. Uh, nearing top of the scent, I've got some cinematic shots as always. Uh, so, yeah. Hello, so, um, welcome back. Um, I've programmed the arrival in. I had a bit of um, trouble with the um, star. I, I, didn't know. I didn't know what was um, going on really with it. Uh, so what I've done is, we're not going to use a star. Um, we're just going to come straight in like this. Uh, the lights cross down. Um, as you can see, this intercepts. Uh, right, we're landing on ILS 27, by the way. This intercepts it um, w way too late, so we're going to vector out and in. Uh, I mean, we could probably do that, but we don't really want a, um, a short final, so. Yeah, uh, reset and CP altitude. Um, why? Oh, because we're coming up to the top of the scent very soon, that's why. Okay, um, well we want 2,000 um, in here, and we should hit top of the scent very soon. Uh, okay, we're descending. Um, so, uh, I've got the ILS shot here, I'll probably overlay um, an image of it on the screen now. Uh, let's just zoom this out. Yeah. Um, so we can put the uh, frequency in. Um, frequency is 109.35, I believe. 109.35. Switch that over. We don't. We don't need to really do it in that um, radio. You don't need to do that for every uh, ILS landing. 
Um, we can also put the runway heading in, which is um, actually it's exactly 270. So we can scroll this all the way up. It'll probably be quicker to go backwards, but we'll do it in this one. Um, we'll go straight past it. There we go. 270s in there, and um, okay, well, we'll not put it in there because we need to use that to do some vectoring. Uh, we're going to use auto brake um, one. Um, is there anything else I need to do? Is there a um, is the perf page destination? Uh, we're going to flaps 30 landing. Um, it says using reserve fuel, maybe I think I may have put the wrong reserve amount in earlier, uh, but it's okay. Um, actually, let's... So we want to enter, intercept the 10 nautical miles, so can I put a range ring? I've never actually done this. Um, I don't know how, right, uh, I'll be right back, I'm just going to find out how to put a range ring. Okay, I I, um, I couldn't find out how to do it. I was looking like, over on the internet, and I mean, if I had the time, I'll probably research it um, when I've not got a time limit. Um, but yeah, I couldn't find out how to add um, a range ring or a fix, as I believe it's actually called. Because funnily enough, when you type um, PMDG seven thirty seven fix in um, Google, you just get a load of things telling you like, problems and how to fix them. Ooh, Ten thousand. Stick the landing lights on. Um, I put the seatbelt sign on for me, but I'll put it. I said it go bing. Um, <laughs> I was worried we weren't going to carry on descending. It's fine. I've got the speed brake out a bit because, well, we were descending too slowly. Uh, not we were going too quickly. So. <laughs> We'll be down on the ground um, soon. Um, I'm gonna get the APU started. A bit early, but I forget if I don't do it now. Yeah, it's a shame I couldn't get one in that, but just like I just want like a ring. I've seen I've seen them like ten miles out. And then I could just go direct to the edge of that and then turn onto the ILS at the beginning. I'm just going to have to estimate it though. Okay, I can put the speed brake away now. Okay, I'm going to begin the, um, the turn out. So to there, um, if I go heading select, that starts to turn. Okay, um, I'm just going to go into vertical speed mode now. I'm um, just my own rate. Uh, okay, so we want 1100. Um, Okay, 1100 should be good. That should um, smooth the sim. Okay, we can um, transition altitude now, so we can just the local QH and I'll press B to know that correctly. Uh, these can go on to continuous. the camera for a bit more. Bring this back to 220. Actually I'll just bug it down to um Deep up. Yeah, it's a 210. All oh, turning, that means we've um, picked up the localizer. Do 
2,900. Oh, 1,000 away. speed down to 180 now. Oh, well. Okay. Let's empty It flaps to one now. Okay, I've picked up the localizer. What's this beeping up? We can arm the approach. Set flaps to two. Okay, I'm going to go flaps five. So that'll speed up. There we go. I'm pretty much lined up now. And there we go. Picked up the RS. Both autopilots in. Flaps can go to ten. It can come down. Flaps can go to fifteen. Speed can come down. Ooh, where is it? There it is. There we go. We're descending on the. Unless I'm not sure that's about. Oh, that's because I've got the speed breakout still. I can arm that. Um, flaps can come to 25. I can bug the speed down. Um, that's approach speed. Okay, I can kill the autopilot. Annoying beeping. There we go. Flaps 30. Fight against that crosswind a bit. I'm a bit low now. Oh, I've just realised what I forgot to do. I've done. Do <laughs> I forgot to set up minimums? So it's fine. The end of the world. I can tell I'm a bit out of practice and I'm flying the NGX. I think that's stutters to do with auto saving. I might turn the intervals down. So I only say so every like five minutes instead of every minute. Oh my god, look at all them cars. That's the A30 below us. And we're down. 
Về sự sao That's the way for like 16. Auto rate disconnect. And there we go, we're down. Okay, you can put the speed brake in. Flaps can come up. That's just me spamming the flap button. I'm curious as to what my landing rate was. Just getting on. Um, 130 feet per minute. It's pretty good. It's just um, Project Flight that tells me out. If you don't know what that is, it's, um, it's sort of like a virtual airline, but not specifically a virtual airline. It's weird. But it's really good. Though. Um, right, okay. We can. Actually, let's just stop here. Do a few things clean. Getting the aircraft up. Flight directors can come out. Um, flaps are up. Um, Pitots can come out. Um, we can switch to APU power. Land lights can come off. Taxi lights can come on. They can go to off. Um, yeah, okay, we can. I'm just taxi in and park on the stand over there. So switch the ILS over. So we're not getting the things there. I was quite I'm quite pleased with that landing. I mean, I floated it a little, but it's quite smooth. Sounds like let me know what you um, you thought of the whole flight, or just landing, or whatever. That <laughs> will park next to that Rhino over there. What's that? There's a couple of Euro fighters there. UK 2000 scenery is just so nice. Thomas Cook 757 there. Right, is there a stand? Yeah, there's a stand between the Ryanair and Thomas Cook. Keep swinging the nose out like it's a trip, like it's a triple seven. Mm. Wait a minute, which line is it? I think it's either, to be honest. What one are you on? Uh, you are. No, it's only one for you. Okay. Uh, we'll do eleven L. Break on. Um, yep, transferred the power uh, over. Taxi light can come off. Um, engines can come out. Uh, probes are off. Packs can come out. Uh, Anti collision can come off. Uh, tell the coming crew to they can get up and do stuff. Um, Okay, it will actually put 
ground connection on set wheel jocks. Let's get ground power. Um, ground power on. APU power off, and the APU can come off. All the fuel pumps can come off now. Um, we can no off. <laughs> Not to worry the passengers by accidentally turning the emergency lights on. Um, the doors, air stair can come open. Left door can open. Cargo doors can open. Um, and yeah, I believe that's all we need to do. Um, oh, and take the seatbelt sign off, of course. And yeah, okay. Uh, um, so yeah, thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed. That was um, no, I can't remember the flight number, but that was <laughs> that was um, Ryanair flight from um, Fort Ventura to East Midlands. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave a like um, and remember to subscribe for more. Um, I I didn't mention this in the last video, but I also do Twitch live streams. Um, there's a link down below. I uh, do regular Twitch live streams, so if you want to go see one of them, uh, yeah, and go follow me on Twitch. Uh, very nice livery. Remember, I'll, I'll, well, I'll try and remember to put a link in the description to it. Um, so yeah, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.